In this video, I'm going to show you a foolproof way to get these perfect miter drops. And that's if you're doing a higher end project or you're just doing millwork in your own home and you want something a little nicer than just notching around an outlet or a vent or something like that. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So whether you're notching or just miter dropping, which is what I'm going to show you, uh, you just need two numbers. My height, which is six and a quarter, wrote it down there. And then a number from either the right or the left. In this instance, it's from the right to the center of the outlet, which is 83 and 3 eighths. Next, we're just gonna set up the table saw to cut off this base cap off of this scrap. So let's get to that. Okay, so we got a nice chunk of base cap. So I'm gonna show you what to do with this next. So now that we got our base cap, I'm gonna start cutting the angles to wrap around the outlet. And I'm gonna go with 31.6. And the only reason for that is I don't want it a 45. I want it to ease into the outlet. And there's a detent there. So my cuts are gonna be precise. Let's get to it. So there you go, and it's going to wrap around the outlet just like this. Now since these are really small joints, we can 2P10 them, and they're not going to be as fast as So next we're going to take the piece that we're going to route out and mark where the bottom of the outlet is, where it meets the outlet, and that's this line right here. So we're going to take our pattern and put this top underneath that line and mark our miters here and here. Next I'm going to set my saw at that 31, line up my mark with my zero clearance, and this piece on the back is just for stabilization because it's a very small piece, so I'm going to go ahead and cut. There you go. So we have our piece, now we got to create the cutout on the baseboard, so the notch. So you can do that one of two ways, you can just put this piece here, trace it, and cut this with a jigsaw, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pattern around this so I can hit it with a router in the flush bearing bit. So to do that, I need two angles, my 31 and then this angle right here, which we'll find really quick with a square. Just line it up there and it's giving me 26. So I'll show you what to do with that 26. So creating the pattern is really quick. So we're going to need two pieces at 26 two at 31.6 and then just a long flat piece. So let's get them cut. So we have our flat piece, two 31s and then two 26. Okay, so we have all our pieces. So we're just gonna lay this flat one right underneath our miters. The 26s go here on the side, like this, and then the 31s go right there. So again, there's no measuring, there's none of that, just cutting your angles and puzzling them together. So we're going to glue them, and we got our pattern. So we got our pattern. It's a really, really snug fit. Um, so now we're just gonna trace our center on the baseboard, which if you guys remember, was 83 and 3 8 So we're gonna go ahead and mark 83 and 3 8 right there. Make a line and just line up the center of our jig with it and make sure that the top is flush and we can glue it to the back and I'll show you the next step. All right, so our pattern is centered 
straight and attached. So all we're gonna do now is lay it down and hit it with the router and a flush bearing bit. So we can just hit it from the top. Alrighty, let's route it. There you guys go. All right, moment of truth. We're gonna fit this in its spot, so. There you guys go. So this little lip that you see is the same lip on the profile, and we're just gonna throw some miter clamps here to tighten up these miters, but we're all good to go.